what I'd say to you and everyone else is the next election is a straightforward choice. <laughs> At the end of it, either Keir Starmer or I am going to be Prime Minister, right? And a vote for anyone who is not a Conservative candidate is simply a vote to put Keir Starmer into number 10. So the question for you and everyone else who clapped, I completely appreciate your frustration, is who do you want to see in government after the next election? Who do you think it's more likely to deliver on the things that you care about? Right? You talked about those traditional conservative things, right? Controlling spending, cutting taxes, a strong economy, bringing mortgage rates and inflation and borrowing down, strong borders, police on the streets, right? All those things that you care about, who's more likely to deliver them? Because it's certainly not Keir Starmer, right? Now, that's the pink, that's the thing, and that's the choice, right? A vote for anyone who is not us is a vote for him, right? We've just seen over the last, I mean, last few days, You've seen what's happened, right? Keir Starmer has been running around for the last year trying to tell everybody, OK, the Labour Party's changed, right? Well, look what just happened in Rochdale. A candidate saying the most vile, awful conspiracy theories, anti-Semitic. And what happened? He stood by him, sent cabinet ministers to support him, right? until, as apparently literally five minutes before I walked on tonight, under enormous media pressure, has decided to change his mind. That's not principled, right? Not principled at all. So, no, the Labour Party hasn't changed. It's not change, it's a con, right? And that's what you have to remember. A vote for anyone who's not me, who's not your Conservative candidate, is a vote to put him with his values and his party in power. You saw it last week, what that would mean for the economy. Can't tell you how he's going to pay for £28 billion decarbonisation policy, which means higher taxes for you and everyone else. Stood by this person in Rochdale until the media pressure got too much. Like, that's the values. Has doing everything he can right now to frustrate the passage of our Rwanda bill in the House of Lords. Do you want any of that? No. I don't think you do. Right? And I'm going to keep delivering for you. You and I want the same things, and that's how we're going to get them, because... I'm going to win the next election. Prime Minister.